What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and obviously if you've been following the channel, you know that I've been probably one of the go-to spots with, uh, at least with the most coverage on all of the various going-ons at Twitter. And now that we're several months into the Elon Musk ownership, I think it's time for some harsh slash fair uh, criticism because, uh, you know, well, quite, quite frankly, selfishly, my account was hit with uh, what appears to be a new search suggestion ban um, and um, this seems to be either after uh, the Eliza Blue coverage or after perhaps talking about everything going on with the train derailment. Um, and this is the kind of stuff that, you know, I can speak plainly and say that I just expected Elon Musk to turn off on day one. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on. But before we get into it, I just have a super quick word from this video sponsor, Private Internet Access. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Private Internet Access. Look, it's 2022 going on 2023. If you don't have a VPN, you're missing out on a ton of benefits, not just a more secure connection, but if you're paying for Netflix, Disney Plus, or any other streaming service, you're already getting locked out of a ton of additional content that you could be enjoying if you used a VPN. And since they've been sponsoring the channel so long, they've rolled out a massive discount for my viewers. That's right, 84% off plus four months free. It's $2.03 a month, four months free, 84% off. Private internet access also offers privacy on all your devices, lightning fast global server network. And look, Outside of all the additional content you're gonna be able to view out there using private internet access, it also has a strict no logs policy. It's open source. It has state-of-the-art updates. It's instant to set up. You can put it on all of your devices, your tablet, your computer, your mobile phones. It has unlimited bandwidth and so much more. If you don't have a VPN yet, make today the day. Use my link in the description to get private internet access, start being more secure, and unlock loads more content. Look, it's 2023. Most of you know what a VPN is. You can be getting so much more out of your streaming services and also protecting your PC at an incredible discount. So pick that up today. Now we saw through the Twitter files that Twitter actually had a separate word for shadow bands or a separate classification for it. And I think this was at least partly due to give them plausible deniability when they went and testified in front of Congress to talk about shadow bands, because that's what we all call them. Um, but what they what they called them was something else so that they wouldn't be lying when they said, well, we don't do shadow bands. We do whatever it was, some fancier term, but it was really just effectively a shadow ban. Then we saw back in late December, um, you know, they say the cover up is worse than the crime. In this case, they're both pretty bad. The latest release of internal files from Twitter shows that they suppressed uh, people who opposed lockdowns or um, you know, they worked against libs, uh, t uh, uh, libs of TikTok, a wide variety of other things. However, Twitter officials swore up and down for years that such, quote, shadow banning did not occur. People are asking us if we shadow ban. We don't. Twitter's official account posted in July of 2018. Quote, I think the real question behind the question is, are we doing something to according to a political ideology or viewpoints. We are not, period, Jack Dorsey said in an interview a month later. We do not look at the content in regards of political view, viewpoint or ideology. We look at behavior. Well, now we know that that's all straight up dollar store value baloney sausage because the Twitter files and their internal emails all very clearly uh, refute that fact. And that they had little task forces that seemed to be specifically about poten potential political opinions. Uh, we had them working directly with the FBI to discuss certain political opinions. Now, of course, we talked about various doctors who were experts on it that were getting shadow banned, deboosted, or banned. Well, many of us thought that. Elon Musk would make that go away. To me, it felt like, man, isn't there just a switch? Remove all the shadow bands. It'd be so easy. One of the most frustrating things uh, as a creator or as somebody who just wants to get their opinion held out there is like when people can't, who are looking for you can't find you and it's like, 
not your fault. You know, there's, you know, oh, maybe you're, maybe you called yourself, um, uh, you know, McDonald's YouTube channel. So everybody who searches for it is looking, is finding the restaurant or something like that. And your last name happened to be McDonald's. And it's like weird. No, what Twitter did was effectively not only make it impossible to find my account and many others over the years, uh, they seem to, at least in my opinion, and, and that's based on what we've seen in the Twitter files, they did this based on political leanings or based on various political topics that you may have engaged with. And it seems now that that actually didn't have anything to do with the size of the channel. Big and small, they had freaking FBI agents assigned to watching the things that you said and tweeted. Well, Elon Musk has long said, you know, hey, we're going to we're going to get rid of the stuff, free speech, blah, 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 blah. Well, we know that's not true because we saw uh, the way that it was so easily manipulated by Eliza Blue to wrongfully uh, and tortiously interfere with people's relationships with Twitter and their use of their product that they pay for in Twitter Blue. So. We know that it isn't about absolute speech. We also know absolute free speech. We also know that there are still people catching bans seemingly for the same stuff that they always did, misgendering people or, you know, be being mean or making fun of somebody. Maybe as a whole, it's down, but it sure seems like at least the people in my circle are still pretty much every other day posting about another YouTube channel that got banned or another, you know, um, account that got locked or... You know, all these type of things. Now, Twitter did follow through, in my opinion, and based on, you know, their actions, in essentially getting rid of permanent bans. They've done this, and many accounts have returned, except for one, Alex Jones. I don't know if Milo's back or not. There's a few that were particularly spicy that aren't back yet. But you have these magazines and stuff like that covering shadow banning, and, and Elon said, hey, we're going to... um." We're going to fix this. You're going to be able to apply and you're going to be able to see why you're deboosted. Then we get Dave Rubin going on site. Everybody always wants to look at their own account. It's just a natural thing to do, but he looks at his own account and he finds even more tags that would issue a shadow ban. I think maybe mine was applied when I had to, when, uh, when it was locked, maybe there was like some sort of strike or something like that. But the problem is as a brand, is if pe you know people are looking for me and they don't find me, they just find alternative accounts like parody accounts and accounts that damage my brand, that feels on purpose. You know, it, and it's very, very bad for, for, for creators and for people, right? Like you have people who are in bad faith, you know, trying to damage your brand, damage your reputation. That's who people find, not your actual account. You see Alex, but even bug fix requests, hearing from users and others that their accounts have forced sensitive level and that they are unable to undo in the settings. I believe this is also true of Brittany Venti's account. Or was it, um, it might have been Sophia Narwitz, one of those two. They had this like sensitive label on their account forever and ever and ever and ever for no reason and nobody could figure out why. But again, this seems like another forced type of shadow ban. There's so many... And I know that Elon wants to get things, you know, implemented financially so that he can bring back ad revenue. But, you know, as a creator who was initially extremely excited for, you know, for uh, uh, Twitter, you know, a lot of the censorship stuff, a lot of the stuff that was really concerning when Jack Dorsey ran it is still there. And it's been several months you can see, you know, there are many different sites at test and this definitely seems to, um, change, but you know, the search suggestion ban is gone from my account. This type of ban causes an account not to populate search suggestions and people search results when it's searched for a while being logged out. Twitter seems to tie strength or similar metric into an account while well, that account may be suggested to a users you're strongly tied to, but won't be tied to others. I've certainly seen a drop off in new followers on Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, it's at the quartering there. You might have to actually manually type it in apparently because, you know, I don't know if it was, if it was tweeting about the, cause this was gone. This is the, the concerning thing is like, this wasn't on there. Um, I had tested it 
you know, maybe a month or two ago. And there's, and by the way, when I was doing the, like Eliza Blue Files, I was getting thousands of followers a day. So it wasn't necessarily having to remove that image. So I don't know what's going on, but certainly people seem to, even Elon Musk himself has said like, oh, people aren't seeing my tweets and this is a problem. Look, yeah, that's a problem, but so is people who are legitimately like looking for me or somebody else and they can't find us. And, you know, people still saying feed refreshes for you tab is weird. The font and paragraphs, you know, the recommendation algorithm allegedly he fixed. Um, but now everyone's just complaining that they're seeing nonstop Elon Musk tweets in their feed, which I certainly am on mine too. Um, you know, you see here, or, you know, Elon's tweets, Twitter, you have 1.1 million likes. So that's pretty good. You know, I, I think that'd be nice. It's, you know, it's nice to not be shadow banned. It'd be nice if people that are actively seeking out my account could find me. And also it'd be nice if a lot of this censorship, old Twitter 1.0 stuff would go away. But we saw this with LG Irwin's handling of the false flagging and other things that there are absolutely more issues to be resolved. I hope that Elon continues to work on that. If you haven't yet, please do pick up private internet access. Link will be in the description down below and we'll talk to you again real soon.